Hey, Emeka, first of all, congratulations on the win tonight. Talk to us a little bit about that link-up play between you and Ojeda over on the right wing where you had a chance to go at goal. Um, what was kind of that feeling going through that moment? Yeah, I think it just went well. I know, I feel like whenever, whenever Sava tucks in a little bit, it allows me to go forward. And uh, I think I played to Sava, then through to Ojeda, and I knew Ojeda was going to flick it. So I knew I was going to be kind of through. And then obviously, I, took a, I think I took a good first touch to go cut across the defender. And then I had to get a quick shot off because the defender, another defender was coming. And I tried to go to the near post, uh, but I think the keeper made a good save. Um, hoping to get on the score sheet soon, you know, but I guess we'll, I guess we'll see. <laughs> hey, man, when we, we spoke earlier, right, like a couple days after your debut, and you said one of your biggest goals and main goals was to get consistent minutes with this team. Uh, here we are um, starting League's Cup, and you've played like 1,499 minutes mm -hmm. or more at this point of the season. Mm -hmm. do you feel, how do you feel like you're doing towards that goal? Yeah, I think it's going really well. I'm, I'm really, really happy, really excited for it. I think uh, a lot of the hard work's paid off, but obviously we're not, we're not finished yet. There's still the League's Cup right now, Open Cup semifinals, 10 MLS games left when we come back. So I just want to hopefully continue that. How do you feel that you're overall adapting to that right back position? Yeah, I mean, I feel like when I first started there, it was a little bit, you know, a lot of new things to learn. But, you know, with your teammates there, with Pablo helping me as well, I think you learn really quickly. I think you have to adapt and learn really quickly to, to fit in. And um, I think in training, uh, the, the advice I've gotten, it's it just it's helped tremendously. And then obviously applying that into games as well has just helped me. So I think I get more comfortable each game I play there. And I just want to you know continue that as well. Thanks, Michael. Yep. So tonight you defended against two players who were playing in the World Cup just six months ago, mm -hmm. uh, in, in uh, Jordan Morris and Nuhu. Uh, how did th uh, did that affect you at all ment mentally? Did you l look at that going into this game in any way, or was it just another another day, another couple of forwards coming to get you? I think you always kind of know who you're going up against, but then at the same time, you know, it's just another game. I think if you have confidence in yourself, then no matter who you're really going against, if you believe in your own abilities, you know, uh, I think you can most of the time at least come out on top against some of those those top players. So I think I, that's what I just tried to do. And then you had an interesting start to the season where you weren't officially signed with RSL until at least a couple of weeks in. Mm -hmm. uh, how was that transition and from the uncertainty of maybe you'll just be playing with the Monarchs to actually being on the first team and getting all these minutes? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think it was really tough for me. I think the biggest part for me is that, you know, when you get drafted, you're obviously not signed to the team. And then, like, I think a month and a half in, maybe, I had a, a quad injury, which I thought was only going to be, like, maybe a week, two weeks. Uh, but I ended up being out for six weeks, so like that kind of stagnated my my contract process. So I, that whole time, I didn't know which contract I was going to get, and I couldn't really play anymore either and show myself uh, to the coaches and you know to the front office. So I think it was just staying positive uh, in that in that moment. It was kind of tough, and then once I was able to get back on the field, you know, just working as hard as I can, um, and I, I'm glad it, it paid off right now. So yeah. What's up, Emeka? You're like the best. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> Thank you. Thank um, you. I had a question. Uh, what are you doing differently that is allowing you to be a starter? Like, mm -hmm. what do you think is helping you do that? Yeah, I think it's just. I think it's mainly the mentality and and the hard work because um, in training, you know, you have to you have to train how you play, and so having that mentality in training and working as hard as you can in training, it you'll see yourself perform better in those trainings, and then. It'll, it'll, it'll look better in the games as well. So I think doing that and focusing on that is, is helping me kind of uh, transition to a starter a little bit more. But at the same time, it's nice because Pablo likes to, likes to rotate a lot. So a lot of guys like me at the beginning that didn't have a lot of experience, we get our chance. And then if you can get your chance and then take that chance, then you'll get more opportunities. So um, that's what, what's, what's been going on so far. Thank you for your time. Of um, I'm not going to sugarcoat it at all. You, you had a dominant performance today. Thank and you. Joseph mentioned some of the guys that you uh, you shut down. I'll throw Leo Chu into that mix mm -hmm. as well. Um, what specifically did Pablo do for you for your for the game plan for this game to to help you excel in a defensive position, getting the shutout? Yeah, I think not only this game, but I think recently some of the players I've gone against, especially I think the biggest piece of advice I got was when I was playing Insigne in Toronto because. You know, he's one of those really quick players, likes to get in behind. He takes a touch, draws you in, 
plays and then runs. So I think it's really important to, you know, be aware of that once they pass it, they're going to try and run it behind you and then to try and get like an arm up or a body on them. And I was just talking to Brett actually like a couple minutes ago. And I think Jordan Morris in like the last maybe five or 10 minutes did the same thing, like tried to take a touch. I drew him in, he drew me in, passed, and then he was running. And you just have to be aware of that and be able to, you know, quickly move. So I did that and then got the tackle in, which I was really proud of because it's something that I've kind of been working on, you know, making sure those defenders can't get in behind me because that's, that's what they try and do as often. So I think Pablo really helped me on that. I was at halftime in Toronto and then just continuing to learn uh, and grow on that as well. Um, and in last year and years prior for RSL, Aaron Herrera specifically at, at the same position that you've been playing quite a bit of at right back, um, tended to get forward quite a bit in the attack, have a lot of crosses into the box. Um, has, has Pablo kind of talked to you about getting forward and, and kind of having a, a plan in place for you as far as when you do get forward in the attack? I kind of, he kind of just trusts me to kind of, you know, make my own decisions on how the game's going. If, if I feel like at the moment I can get forward, then I'll get forward. But at the same time, if I can't, then I, I don't think I will. But uh, I think that's something that I'm always, I'm always going to try and, and work on. I think maybe at the beginning when I was playing right back, some of my positioning was a little bit off and like I, my timing on going forward and stuff like that. But I think in the last couple of games, it's, it's, been, it's gotten better. So I think just as I continue to get more comfortable and adapt to that position, I'll be able to get forward a little bit more and then hopefully work on that final product. Any other questions? Good. Thank you. Perfect. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Micah. Thanks, Micah.